Vamos. What happened next? Why have you stopped thinking? Something happened. I can't remember. My mind's gone blank. If you cannot remember, we will try hypnosis. And I will store your memories and play them back on the screen. You are feeling warm and relaxed, just like you would feel after having sex with a hybrid alien like. Oops. I did not say that. I do not know where that came from. Having sex with a hybrid alien? That's terrible. I've heard of aliens having sex with humans and producing hybrids. But this is ridiculous. I am telling you, it was not me. It was a random thought from the universe. Now please, will you relax so we can continue? How can I relax? You're lying. It was you. I'd rather have man sex than sex with a hybrid alien. Oh, perhaps not. You are now in a deep sleep, and you will wait on my command. You will find me desirable, and you will be happy to know that I want your baby. But now you will remember what happened in the cornfield. It took a long time to hypnotize you. What do you expect? Sex with an alien? It's not a bad, uh, I mean good idea. But we did break your memory block, but only the block. So I still do not have the whole story. We will do the rest of it in the usual way. I will now play back your memory block. So clear your mind or it will interfere. Looks like you are having some good thoughts. That's not my thought, that's yours. Holy shit. That is what aliens do. They abduct humans, impregnate females, or extract sperm from the males and create hybrids. Sorry, I did not mean to think that. We hybrids cannot breed in the normal way. There are no males. We can only clone ourselves. But that has problems. No way. Absolutely not. I'm not doing that. You will think differently soon. Can we get on with it? I want to go home. Silk will be missing me. But Silk is only an android woman, provided by the Zergums to keep you satisfied sexually and free. For what is to come here, she will be on standby right now. She does not know the meaning of missing you. She may only be an android, but she did have real hair and other bits. Only trouble is, she's an nymphomaniac. I had to keep her on standby most of the time. As for the zircons providing her, I never thought about that. She did have a manufacturer's logo tattooed on her left buttock. Ah, yes. Zircon Industries. She was the third android that I found on my doorstep. Probably the best. You have no reason to go back, but we will give you lots of reasons to stay here with us. Now this is what happened. This is why you have no memory of it. Rubbish man plucked you out of the frame. I can remember now. Nothing happened for a couple of months, and I got a picture in my head. I thought it was from Genesis. I had to be there at midnight. It was a false message. I was propositioned by homosexuals. I'd gone to a notorious meeting place. I politely told them to fuck off. Please tell me you did not use the special powers that Genesis gave you. Nah. Just told him to fuck off. No, I didn't. 
told him he wasn't doing any of that with me. You are homophobic. No, I'm not. I'm just saying don't come near me. That's fair enough, isn't it? Enough of that. I then got this picture of the church on the hill, and I had to be there at midnight. What on earth am I doing in this place? October 31st, Halloween, midnight. Another false message, I suppose. Spooky. I'd rather not be here. Hello? Anyone there? for the United States going down the pan. Literally. I don't understand it. Because it sounds ridiculous. But I did see pictures on news broadcasts. Nothing like that happened. They used a kind of advanced hypnosis technique and the pictures were transmitted directly to your brain. It was delusional. Just the same as they did to Moses and Jesus and other prophets. So why did they do that to me? So you would go to a police station and confess. They would think that you are insane and bring you here. Why am I here then? You will now find out. I will take you to Rosetta Stone. But first you need to do something. Hello. How can I help you? Halikin said I had to see you. Who are you? Bram Korn. But we have met before. You said I was insane. But I did not recognize you. You have had your hair cut. Yes, I did. Halikin said it would make me look younger. Yes, it does. You have completely changed. Yes, yes, yes. Cut to the chase, won't you? Why am I being held against my will? If you cooperate, you will have everything you want. You will want to stay here. If you do not cooperate, it will be very, very unpleasant for you. <laughs> 